Hey guys, it is Rowan. I bring you an Xavier deck profile. Cause you know, Jarrell played his, he topped eight, went to the world, you know, he did good with it and stuff. Then everyone's like, oh, let me post my Exodia after. I mean, people, some, some people, you know, actually had their Exodias like I did before he went there and played his. But you know, people, you know, still posted them up after because everyone was like, oh man, he playing Exodia, let me post mine. It'll be, everyone will be checking it out and stuff. Trying to get those subs and those views. But let's just go through this real fast. You got the five pieces of Exodia, obviously. All LOB. All LOB. Except the first one, which sucks. But you know. Dragon Exodia here. So we have three blue eyes. You know. We have three white stone. And we have two guard. This is awesome. Awesome deck is awesome. I know. One Piper, because you summon one time in this entire deck. You get a level one, you get to draw two cards basically. Um, we're playing Tune Table of Contents. You know, search, re play, 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 get, you know. Three upstart, three trade in, three card of consonants, three upstart goblin, two dealings. Two Void, which I don't like that much. Two Super Rejuvenation, which is a uh, okay-ish card. Um, I mean, I like these. I hate Voids. I hate Voids right now. Um, one Dark Eruption, because some. I mean, I don't have the um, Dark Factory Mass Production, so I have to play this until then. Um, one Magical Mallet, one Hand Destruction, and one Jar of Greed. The Jar of Greed is because sometimes you don't. If you draw it and you don't have a game and you just set it I mean they draw you just play it no night beam <laughs> okay so real deck here we go we're gonna do the real deck up here I'm just gonna you know re go over it and all that cause it was in order and I kinda had it upside down so what we're gonna do is show you the best deck ever for next format Actually, this is just probably what I'm going to play next format along with the other decks I'll show you next time on Grow a Nice Channel. So, we're playing Frog Monarchs. Yes, and we play three Swap, two Dupe, two Rodent Toten, Treeborn, and Poison Draw. Now, the reason we play the one Poison Draw um, is because of the fact that we're playing one Sea Lancer. This, the one Sea Lancer is to get back whatever you remove from play with the the Rodent Totem and I thought it was an even an even trade because if you remove from play a Treeborn if you have to for a Rodent Totem or whatever you can always just get it back with the Sea Lancer and most of the time like in this deck there's so many other monsters you have to watch out for so Sea Lancer can go off if you most of the time you'll have another target instead of to remove from play, but it gets stuff back for you. It makes plays happen. He becomes 2300. It's just a good monster, you know, good monster. Okay, we play Monarchs, Mobius, two Ryza, and Triple Caius. The one Mobius is because of back row. Um, two Ryza because we play six Monarchs, and so we play Triple Caius because it's the best. We would play three three and then maybe one Mobius and one Thestalos for eight but this is not just Frog Monarch so you know that's what you get this guy is the best you play one you summon it they can't special summon you can't special summon but basically they're gonna work their butt off to get this off the field that's basically what it is it's like a it's like it's just awesome I mean you start you play this against troll decks that need the special summon and they just kind of cry um they can't drop gores they can't drop fader they can't drop track uh i mean he gets over all 2000 defense monsters i mean it's just the best the best um, two light and darkness dragon uh he negates things or she negates things it doesn't really matter if it dies you special summon something from your grave um after you blow up everything on your side of the field you get a monarch, you know, you get a dead boss monster back there that I play in this deck or whatever. And he's light and dark. Um, also, also before I go, if you 
if say your opponent kill well doesn't kill light and darkness but negates uses all its effects right so say you um they they get it down and now it's at 800 attack and you know the 400 defense or whatever right and you can't negate anymore so what you do is if they don't kill it that turn on their turn on your turn what you do is you try to make a gachi gachi he gets attack and defense the defense and attack go up so he can negate another card so yeah okay now the boss monsters we play three boss monsters we play obelisk because he's so easy to make we play dark arm because he's usually live every game in this deck we play one two three four we play four and then we play we play five six seven eight we play eight dark monsters two of which always get removed from play so basically we play six dark monsters that can possibly go to grave right most of the time if you drop him you always only have three or whatever so He's just he's just an easy big monster that you can summon and scare your opponent with. BLS is BLS. He's a game winner. He's a game changer. He's a game breaker. You know he just takes matches for himself. He's BLS. He's a Blacklist Soldier. We play two Valor. Um, Valor's light. It's a tuner. In the gates effects for until the end phase. You know he's good. She's good. I mean, whatever the thing is. Um, one Gore's Trag and two Fader. These are other dark targets, um, you know, B Fader, obviously, if you don't have anything, you just make it. Trag becomes big too fast if, if you drop it at the right time. And Gorge is just a scary monster, because 2700, you get a token, whatever the damage was, and all that. Spells, 2 Econ. The 2 Econ are good. Um, if you find room in here for, to play a third, uh, you know, tell me. I like 2, though because we also played two creature swap there's like not that much room but these cards are just like the most amazing spells in the game to me right now uh you econ treeborn like say they have like let's say they have a full field of monsters you do econ take something i mean you tribute the tree when it comes back you get treeborn you creature swap for a bigger monster like you take you think about what you take with econ let's say they have two monsters you take the weaker monster with econ you creature swap with the root can't coming back um stand by face treeborn with the creature swap so yeah you just do that and you get good monsters there you go um two mst hit the back row and make your summon safer or just um hit a face up continuous spell or trap obviously that's hurting you book of moon monster born dark hole heavy you know the staples obviously you gotta run over something if you need to get back retarded monsters from either grid dark hole dark hole heavy heavy soul exchange is basically your your um your econ that you use if you're if you don't have a play if you don't if you need to get a monarch or something out on the field you take their monster you can attack but you get your effect and you get a monster on your side of the field pot of average to recycle stuff and spiritual water art is the one trap to take something out of their hand mate possibly or to bait their MST or something I don't know whatever you feel like doing with it um two this is side deck right now two thunder king ryo thunder king is thunder king negates the summon if you tribute him um either neither player can add cards from their deck to their hand um he's just overall good he's 1900 he's a light target for BLS which is awesome and he just he controls stuff Two puppet plant. Um, with the spell books and stuff coming out and all the spellcaster type monsters and all that, you can play this. Six Sam's might be better next format. And I mean they're already good, but they might be better, so you still play two puppet plant. Volcanic Queen and Vol and Lava Golem. Um this hurts Dino Rabbits so much because you just tribute their monsters because it's a cost. And even if they bottom this they already lost they already lost so much field. Like they, it's just terrible for them. Um, queen is the same way. You take a monster from their side of the field. Uh, you can creature swap it, or if you feel like, you know, keep their big monsters for yourself. It's just good. And if you need to, it's so easy to get over these with the treeborn tribute for monarch to, you know, kill it. And if you do ever rise, you get it back. So. One Vanny's fan, obviously, you have to play at least another one inside. If not, you're playing two in main. It's just so easy to hurt your opponent when they can't special summon, especially next format, which is basically what this deck is meant for for next format. Um, Time Eater, um, 
this would probably would have been better this format. I don't know about next format, but this format, if it hits, if it was to hit anything small, it just your opponent has to skip their next main phase one. So if this hit like a phase down in Zector, since it would run over it because all Zectors are weak, it's crap unless they had like a sword equipped it to it. If they hit any Zector and they destroyed it by battle and they didn't stop it, they would have to skip that main phase one, which means they couldn't go straight into the battle. They couldn't go main phase one, do all the special summon, and go OTK. They couldn't do that. They would have to wait till battle phase and then go main phase two. Um, virus, um, machines, and dragons. I mean, I don't really care about dragons because I just remove them. And machines, I mean, I'll just. It doesn't really matter. They go Shockmaster. If they don't know what I'm playing, then I think I could win, you know, with this side deck. So, Treeborn. Treeborn. If you need another one, you know, because you keep on moving yours from the player, if something happens to it, you know, play another one. Snowman, Donald Rabbit, you know, stuff next format might happen, which you might need to side more or whatever. Super Poly. Uh, Super Poly, because of heroes. And because you have water and light targets, dark targets, wind targets, you know, you just see Revali. Mostly it's water. Mostly they'll make Ab Zero. You'll make Ab Zero. Because they have heroes. Um, Soul Exchange to tribute more stuff. If you don't have, you know, if you can't get it. Now we side in these two traps. If you're playing against, like, if your opponent is smart <coughs> they'll probably side in traps and they will probably side out the MSTs or night beams or you know whatever so you can side in traps and you side in this to take away hand and you side in this to remove stuff from play and this like in heroes if you're going if they if you go first and they side out the night beams the MSTs then you set this or whatever and they're trying to go off and then you move from play their target so they can't like play miracle fusion or whatever and now we go to extra deck one Ab Zero because Ab Zero is your super poly target. One formula, one shooting star because you can make it in this deck. Um, Thought Ruler, Stardust, Black Rose, Gaia, Android. This is for next format, so there's no Bryo in here. If you, if you want this for this format, you know we can just slide the Bryo up on in there, but you know there's no Bryo. Um, Armory arm. Basically, we have econ and creature swaps, so all those targets are viable. Now, extra deck. I mean, um, these X Y Z's. We have force focus. We don't have. I don't have a bouncer, but yeah, if I had bouncer, I would probably take out the the shooting star and the formula and just place in a bouncer and a um, Gaia charger, or I would not play the Gaia charger and put in a shiny. Yeah. Utopia Ray because we have Econ and we have Creature Swap. Black Mist because you can make it and then three Gachi because they're easy to make. Now I was thinking about playing two Gachi instead and just play you know like a Shiny or something. So here's the Shiny that I was thinking about putting in. You know I was reluctant so I didn't know. But you know you guys can always switch it up. Uh, this video is like about to be 15 minutes but I don't even care if you guys want to stay and watch it go ahead be be happy I mean you can always side in I mean, you can always change up the extra deck put in two more super poly make it a hero variant of frog monarchs or something I don't know but yeah three super poly is retarded we just sit them all next to each other it's like whoop -de -doo! super poly if they don't hit this next format this is really going to be retarded um heroes won't even need to play XYZs that much they'll just play you know three super poly and Play three of everything, <laughs> but yeah, Super Poly is awesome. You can also play, you know, Soul Taker if you're scared of dragons or whatever. System down for the machines, you know, DD Crow if you need to, and all that great stuff. Now, so I need to, um next week um or Monday. Wait, today's Thursday, right? So yeah, um I probably do Saturday actually. If I finish it, I'll post up my Vylon. OTK deck list, which probably should be finished by then. If you guys want to see it, you know, give me a thumbs up, comment below. Um, I have black wings for the next format. I can make. If you need, if you guys want to see any deck for next format, you know, just tell me below. Um, I'm also looking for dual terminal ice barriers. Obviously, I have Delorean. If you have any more though, I would like them. 
um, Bryo and Trishula, I'm looking for as well. Only dual terminal. If you guys have the, you know, secret hidden arsenal ones, I'll, I'll just take those to throw in, because, you know, fuck them things. <laughs> Especially if Bryo gets banned. He's just, this guy is, like, super sad. Like, what is the deal with Konami and Ice Barriers? They don't like Bryo now. Um, they don't, they didn't like this guy for the fish FTK or whatever. So they're like, oh, hit him. Now he's about to get hit. Trishula got hit. Like, they don't like Ice Bear Synchros. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy both deck profiles that I randomly decided to do for you guys. And comment below what you liked, what you didn't like. If you have any room for any cards that I should probably fit in, text, all those choices. But this is it, guys. This video is nearing 16 minutes. And I hope you guys did enjoy the deck profile. Bubble Shuffle all day long. Here we go. Give me these for free because I like them. Um, that's it, guys. I'm about to shut the video down. And peace. I hope you guys had a good time with this video.